Hello, today I wanted to make a video showing you how to provide customized products on your Shopify store. So what I've set up here is a really simple product page with one custom option, and this is gonna be a custom text to go on the t-shirt. Now this is just for an example, um, I haven't done any styling here, and obviously it looks very ugly, it's below the quantity, um, but this is all something you can fix in your own theme, this is just demonstration of the customized product. So let me show you how this works really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter anything on the custom text. Um, so when I was testing out, I did happy birthday, John. Um, I can go ahead and add that to cart and view my cart. And you can see that the custom text line item property comes through here. So that's what we'll be using is line item properties. Um, and you'll be able to view those line item properties on the order uh, in the admin. So let me show you how this is done. So the first thing you're gonna do is head over to your Shopify admin panel, go to online stores, themes, and then go over to the theme you wanna edit, click the dot, 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 and edit code. Once you're inside the theme editor, the code editor, you're gonna go ahead and find your product form for your product page. For me, that's in main product and sections. I'm gonna search product, I'll search inside here, search product, uh, I'll search form, product and I should be able to find it. Perfect, so here it is. I've gone ahead and created one input which is the input that you see here that we've already used to, in the demonstration. And what all that this is is a label and an input inside of a div. Um, the div adds some margin so it gives them some space and then the label just adds the label right above it. What's important here is the input box. So the input box, I've used type text. You can use whatever type of input you'd like, um, and the value that feeds through will feed through to the, um, the line item property. Now how do you get it to feed through as a line item property? All you have to do is you have to set the name, the name um, property of the input to properties, and then inside square brackets, the uh, line item property you want to add. So we can go ahead and actually add a second um, custom text box, let's say. Let's say custom text back. Um, and then I'm gonna say custom text. Um, actually, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll write this from scratch so you can see. So I'm gonna create a div with a style, margin, 20 pixels on top and bottom and zero pixels on the sides as I did before. I'm gonna close the div. I'm going to create a label, um, again, with the style of display block so that it shows above the uh, input box. And we're going to say custom text back. And I'm going to close that label. And then what I will also do is I'll change this custom text to custom text front and this custom underscore text to custom underscore text front. Now here's the important part. Um, as long as this input box needs, or the input um, the input uh, element needs to be inside of the product form for it to register when you submit the form. So you need to create an input, and we're going to do again, type text, oops, type text. And here's the important part, is setting the name property equal to properties, properties, and then inside square brackets, this is gonna be the property name. So in this case, it'll be custom underscore text underscore back. And then I can go ahead and add some styles, some padding, um, just so that it matches a previous style. And go ahead and close that up. Perfect, so this should show a second uh, input box with the custom text back property. Now by saving this, and I go back and I refresh. There it is. See the custom text front and the custom text back. Let's say, hi, this is front just for demonstration. Hi, this is back. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and add it to the cart. And inside the cart, you can see both of these line item properties came through properly. Now, one thing I've done on product pages before is you've jo used JavaScript to manipulate the values of inputs so that if you have something more complex, all you have to do is have an input with this properties name, with the properties and then the value inside square brackets as the name, and then whatever the value property you feed through in that specific input 
will come up as the line item property for that name. Great, so one other thing that I've also set up is the bogus gateway, which is a, uh, it allows you to test orders on Shopify without actually paying. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do is complete this order uh, using the bogus gateway, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to the Shopify admin and show you what the order looks like once it's come through. Great, so I've now completed the test order and gone back to my Shopify admin panel and gone up here to orders. And now once I'm in the order page, you can see I completed one previously as a test order. And now I put in some bogus information. So Bob Bobby created our order. And you can see that the custom um, line item properties here come through. And you can maybe put this on the front and put this on put uh, your custom text in the front and the back of your t-shirt, for example, during production. So you can go ahead and go into the test order and see, or into the order and see the line item properties pass through right here. Um, the line item properties are also available to most, uh, most API calls that have to do with orders um, and line items that come with those orders. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe.